in the last episode we made the draconic energy orb for storing loads of power we also made the awakened draconium seed and we also got ourselves into basically mechanism pushing through all of mechanism sort of and in today's episode the plan is to get into power now power is going to be a little bit interesting if i say the least go ahead and grab all of my stuff back out of here fairly quickly including my infinite steak which we need to eat because we're starving so power is going to be a bit of a tricky one i'm going to be honest here and so to get started with power we're going to go ahead and need ourselves some of these dielectric rods the dielectric paste and a few of these bars which don't look too bad dielectric paste is not terrible actually it just requires some play but luckily we have em seed we can go ahead and pull that right and put that right into the system go ahead and then teach that to our system and then pull out a bajillion a billion tri oh my god dear god i hate that it does that stop it and we can go ahead now and make all of the dielectric rods that we need and also don't forget you can turn the horizontal into vertical rods just like so and then you know grab as many as you would like for your pleasure now we're gonna go ahead and in today's episode hopefully maybe get all the things that we need or the seeds down here so the spirited seeds the nitro crystal the niotic blazing crystal granite all those things we're probably gonna want to go ahead and make the energizing steel seed as well i don't really know how many ingots are a part of power i don't really know it doesn't look like there's too many that we should probably worry about it, yeah so it looks like it's just one ingot and a few other things so yeah we'll go ahead and get that started which is going to require us to make a energizing orb which is fairly simple and basic go ahead and teach everything to the table go ahead and grab a few of these dielectric core things we'll need a few of those for crafting later our energizing orb and then now we need to make the very basic energy rod basic capacitors which need basic capacitors which need this go ahead and teach those to that and grab as many as you would like i don't know why it keeps doing that but i guess project d doesn't really like it when you fast clicking when you have an item inside the thing a tiny capacitor is just going to be one of those which is fair enough and then let me take this out and just type in tiny and then that should show up baby capacitor gotta love it and then we also need the large capacitors as well for later on i come mm, that's gonna drive me crazy but it's fine go ahead and do something like that hey give that back give it back you little shit give me the energizing orb go ahead and teach that now we should be able to make our very first starter rod and then that starter rod can i believe be upgraded to a basic rod and that is as far as we can go in terms of emc wise so we'll go ahead and grab i want to say uh nine of those also we can probably also kind of cheese the system a little bit if we really wanted to and make the which i'm gonna call it uh, i can't think of it so i'm just gonna say screw it lol imagine go ahead and place the energizing orb down as you see and then do something like bam bam boom i think it could be this far away we are gonna do a simple nine by nine or three by three not nine by nine that would be insane be this bad boy with some of that flux point power mm -hmm. directly coming from our network and we should now be able to make the things that we need do we need energizing steel so that's the main question so the the rods i should have just kept that at power rod the hardened crystal needs the hardened capacitors which does indeed need the energizing steel so we are going to go ahead and need to make that so let's go ahead and make the seeds for that really quickly it should be for energizing steel which is going to be iron and gold next on the list is going to be the blazing crystals and then after that the niotic crystals which need i want to say diamonds and then the next one will be spirited which i believe need 
need emeralds yep emeralds and then the next one after that is going to be the nitro which is going to be the most difficult one which is going to require us to use nether stars redstone and blazing crystal blocks to go ahead and make 16 of them for 20 million rf i'm going to do that all off camera so that way you guys don't have to really watch me do it it's the same thing over and over again so so i discovered that um you can tick accelerate these which is pretty nice which is kind of funny but you know what it is what it is oh we are out of power why are we out of power doesn't matter man making these nitro crystals was a hassle it took so damn long it took like 45 to 50 minutes i mean to be fair we are still on the basic starter pack uh rods but still it took a hot minute dear lord now if i've done everything correctly i think we should be able to make the nitro rods i am hoping we need nine of these okay we're missing a few things we're missing nine starter rods that's good and we pretty much have everything but nitro crystals which is fine except for why aren't you going in there's no way it's that slow right i guess it really is that slow what the heck those are on that's for sure on um are we getting any spare seeds because that would be pretty useful right now nope i guess not let's go ahead and i guess make another one because we can do that insanium essence times four and then we don't need a prosperity we just need some of those extra nitro crystals that we should indeed have beautiful let's try this again so nitro rods we want nine of these bad boys what are we gonna need okay available nether stars we're just missing quartz blocks and the starter rods which is good for us so if we go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz just a few blocks that's fine and then also grab us i believe nine more starter rods we should be good to go three six nine okay and that should be good to go so if you go ahead and type in rod or nitro rod which is the one we want we're gonna go ahead and do that do that and then that should go ahead and craft up the nine nitro rods that we need for the end game of power Power, which is going to be super important come here in a few minutes when we get ready to go ahead and make the creative essence with us having the nitro rods now we should be able to make the unobtainium dust using the creative essence now before we can get into that however we are going to need a few things unfortunately now to get ourselves the unobtainium we're gonna to have to do some things things involving mechanism because we're gonna want unlimited unobtainium because this is pretty expensive to make what we want to be able to do is say hey get the unobtainium dust go ahead and take that and melt that down into wait a second did they hold on did they remove okay no just about to say so you're gonna take your first unobtainium dust melt it down put it into a normal mechanism tank and then have that mechanism tank pour into a creative tank and that's how we'll get our unlimited unobtainium very easily now to do that there's a quite a few steps involved in that and one of those being extended crafting extended crafting is very cool it's a mod that adds bigger crafting tables and bigger machines to your minecraft experience to get into extended crafting we're gonna go ahead and need to get ourselves a ultimate auto crafting table or we could get the auto crafting table or we can do it manually if we would like but we also need something called black iron okay black iron is simply just iron with black dye which we should be able to make if we have one of these wait do we not have any petals wait we do they are just in our emc table thingy my bobber uh and then mortar and pestle mortar and pestle there you go and then that should make us the black dye that we need and then the black dye gets put in 
table and then we go ahead and make ourselves the black iron which is one of these steps to get into extended crafting all right now we're gonna need luminescence which is a second material that we're gonna need for the crafting which is actually very straightforward and very basic thankfully go ahead and take that and then teach it to your system or your table and then grab a bunch of that as well because we're gonna need it and then we're just probably gonna need a few stacks of iron gold diamonds and emeralds thankfully we have all those things ready to go in our emc table which is not bad at all we are gonna need a little bit of gold i'm pretty sure we already have gold or not gold we have diamonds in the system already and then we're just gonna need some emeralds as well just get that uh simply done like so boom 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 and now we can start going down the crafting chain for every single one of these tables which is pretty straightforward forward now here's the thing we're probably also going to want to teach our system how to make the which i'm calls it each one of the components for each table that's because we're probably going to need it down the road at some point so we might as well just teach it make each component so for example like this basic component teach it and then make the bigger component and then teach that and go down the whole line and basically it's all the same all the way so i will meet you back once i get the ultimate crafting table once you get yourself the ultimate table you are ready to go into the end game of this mod pack now now that we have that we should be able to say hey let's get into the ultimate singularity which is going to require quite a few things if i remember correctly the ultimate singularity in this pack is quite interesting oh you don't need the ultimate table anymore okay that's different so previous they have they had you do the ultimate table i guess we can go and do it in the tier two table now which is even better right because well to be fair why do we need all that crafting space if we're not going to use it right like it would just be a waste so i feel like yeah let's just do it we are going to need the ultimate crafting table though for other recipes for example this recipe right here the creative storage upgrade from roars or whatever so we're going to need bronze invar electrum steel lapis uranium emerald coal redstone glowstone nickel lead iron copper platinum diamond tin silver and aluminum most of these actually have emc for the most part which is great and all however i want to take our dragon egg seeds and get that set up because well yeah wait what is our dragon egg seeds there they are i was like hold on a second let's go ahead and make sure that this has a spot inside of our little system over here and then make sure that we can go ahead and get rid of a lot of these awakened draconium seeds because we don't need those anymore now i'm hoping that this will give me what i want it to give me but i am really doubtful it will but i guess we'll have to we'll have to try right all right now that i have my dragon egg seed set up which i don't know why i haven't set that up before but i'm gonna go ahead and take two crafters some item pipes and some ultimate and we are going to set up a emc gen that is going to be unmatched for a while i feel until we get the creative essence going which this is actually very much the reason why i'm setting this up right now is because well i'm gonna be very honest i'm pulling the wrong item oh yeah i did not mean to do that god damn it i pulled out the seeds not the uh what should i call it not the essence because i'm smart i know exactly what i'm doing go ahead and take these all these seeds out and just like that we should start to see emc come flying in i'm debating about how i want to do this per se now we don't have ender chest or anything i'm thinking we can probably do some like silly stuff and like running a pipe all the way over here <laughs> you know what this is gonna look uh, you know what you know what i'm gonna do i am just going to say screw it get rid of this power flower we don't need it anymore we're done with this 
with our new emc system we're gonna be bringing in so much emc it's not even it's like no competition at all i feel like this would just be like a massive waste of time if we just kept it hanging around able to cause lag so i think moving it over to here and setting up a way better system we need to find an item that's way more emc dense but at the same time i feel like red matter furnaces are probably our better option right i mean we can get into project expansion and then those those get silly but like is it really necessary and we should be able to say hey go super speed mode and now we're gonna just sit here and watch just this craft boat load of this it's not gonna be that much but we have enough emc to kind of get the singularities up and going or at least the ultimate singularities right the first ultimate singularity which is we're gonna use on the creative tank to get your singularity you're gonna go ahead and go back to the extended crafting mod and make yourself the quantum compressor which happens to need the elite control stuff luckily we saved it i don't remember if it's two elite catalysts yeah it's two elite catalysts and one of those little baby component parts and it should be good to go wait we're not done we need the interface which happens to need some sort of glass how do we not have glass you know what to be fair we don't have the what i'm call it item um, whatever you call it is that not what the recipe requires there's no way it, it requires glass from chipped that makes no sense it says any forged colorless glass isn't that not what i just pulled from the emc system i pulled clear glass god damn it you and your stupid glasses i swear really there we go black iron frame that's probably the only time we're ever gonna use that but whatever it's fine and i believe we need the ultimate thing don't we I'm pretty sure we need the for to make these yeah we need the ultimate catalyst luckily for us it's not that difficult because we already have it but there you go go ahead and shove that in there and now it's basically going to be me sitting here grabbing a bunch of aluminum ingots dumping it in here so on and so forth so we will be right back as soon as i get all the singularities let me tell you there is nothing more tedious oh my god you got to be kidding me right now not this one that's really unfortunate i gotta freaking do it for this one as well that is so rough but yeah this has been a quite tedious process as you can see we're down one row of singularities but we're getting there i'm slowly getting there but surely for the last few singularities we're gonna go ahead and need ourselves some invar Oh, unfortunately, due to OBS crashing on me, I lost the last bit of this episode where we finished making the ultimate singularity. So I guess we can make the creative tank because, well, it sucks because like we lost probably about 30 minutes to 40 minutes of footage for this episode, unfortunately, because OBS decided to be a derp and was like, hey, I'm going to break right now. And yeah, so we made the ultimate singularity. You guys didn't really miss much because all it really was was just putting the rest of the singularities together inside of this crafting table, which wasn't that much content to be fair. However, since that happened, happened i guess we can wrap up the episode with making the creative tank instead because well yeah that's really unfortunate man that one yeah that i hate that that happened but what am i gonna do you know it is what it is we move on and we just keep pressing on we are gonna have to make these tanks which aren't really that big of a deal all that really needs is i believe these tanks just need the alloys for the most part yeah which i think we already have in our refined storage system so one basic tank go ahead and teach that you're gonna have to go teach all these things because we're gonna have to keep pulling them out oh i guess we don't don't have the alloys in our system that's okay because we can go ahead and get them not that bad right go ahead and dump a bunch of these alloys into our system like so go ahead and do something like so make that 
then go ahead and make oh i almost made a mistake i almost made a mistake there it is dot com go ahead and make the elite one and then go ahead and make the ultimate i didn't mean to do that so it's gonna be an ultimate tank and i believe so we're gonna need to go ahead and count exactly how many tanks do we need here so it's gonna be four ultimate and then it looks like okay so four ultimate eight of the elite so four of those eight of these two three four five six seven eight and then it looks like this is going to be the one two three so 12 of the advanced let's see advanced one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we'll go ahead and do 13 just for the hell of it go ahead and dump all of these in here so that way we have the, the remaining room for the rest of them which looks like it's going to be 16 basic tanks let's see where is the basic tank one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen of these basic arena tanks one stack of each alloy and i'm pretty sure that is going to be our creative tank ready to go like so perfect go ahead and get the first ever creative tank of the series we love that go ahead and put that bad boy right over here for just this one second and actually oh, i was gonna say we can make a second one however we can't just do that yet because the fact that well we need a few things we are gonna need some blazing blood which means we're gonna need to go ahead and get some blazing blood which is gonna require us to get a fell pumpkin let's go get a fell pumpkin we do need some pumpkins some bones and some string i don't know how we don't have string i think we do have string it's just in the emc table and as well as bones we actually also have bones as well good the only thing that we don't have currently is pumpkins which uh is there an easy way to get pumpkins without going through too much of a hassle we can botany pot it can we power pot it that is a good question do pumpkin seeds have emc maybe they have emc seeds can i just quickly throw this in one of the power pots downstairs particularly one of the draconium ones if we can i guess we don't have a draconium one available indeed we can indeed throw a pumpkin seed on there and call it a day go ahead and do that put that back go ahead and teach the emc table your pumpkins and get a bunch of blazes inside of the spawner or inside the smeltery by using iron bars mm -hmm. that's how you're gonna go ahead and get your blazes in your smeltery also do we happen to have seared bricks just like laying around we do lovely go ahead and put this like so do something like that and cover it up so that way they don't escape and set our whole base on fire because that would not be pleasant you can go ahead and do something like this get inside the smeltery i did not mean to do that that's fine give me one of the that's a normal pumpkin oopsie did i not make the fell pumpkin i might not have oopsie okay so make a fell pumpkin can be taught like so and now we do the the honors of putting them in here right, you go over there i'm busy i'm busy Stay there and then you need to go ahead and do that which is going to get us 100 mil buckets of blazing wood which is going to hopefully be good enough we need creative essence which we haven't really dived into just yet to make the things okay so yeah we can do it we are gonna need another master infusion crystal which is just fine because i'm pretty sure i can go and say hey i want to make a master infusion crystal assuming i still have my supremium crystal i do and we can go ahead and make a few of these as well even though we don't need that many but why not take this okay they died inside the smeltery so that's and we should probably get maybe at least like a bucket or two of the supremium so if i go ahead and do so i got rid of the iron bars iron bars and then the fell pumpkins do something like that 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 go ahead and get three more blazes in here that should be good enough y'all yeah, stay in there one bucket of blazing is that two buckets i could pour it into the tank if i wanted to but i don't think that's really necessary let me grab this and then teach you how to make this and then put you up here grab another seared tank 
like so go ahead and put that there and then pour i needed that to be poured mm, i am an idiot and then go ahead and pour that in there okay good that's gonna pour that into there you'd love to see it once that is done i think think it was done we can go ahead and put that on here now and then that's gonna allow us to melt down the unobtainium dust once we get the unobtainium at some point in the future like aka like now so we need hold on to make this okay wait how many creative assets so we need one two three two three four five six for one obtainium dust we're gonna grab four stacks of every of every essence and then that should be four stacks should be plenty right imperium 256 imperium does it go all the way down to inferium i don't even know let's double check the unobtainium dust is made via the creative essence which goes down to it doesn't even go down that far i'm being silly uh the creative essence which i can't that's the wrong table first of all all right there's one creative essence two creative essence three creative Creative essence, four creative essence, five creative essence, and six creative essences. And that should be, hold on, let me do a quick pump and dump back into our little system. And then that should be good to go. We have how many stacks? We have 104 stacks of insanium. Wow. That's a lot of insanium. Go downstairs and go ahead and put this in the power thing. And this is going to take a hundred million FE, by the way. Dear God. Oh boy. Look how fast it's draining. What the heck? Okay. I was not expecting. Okay. That, that one's struggling. This one's about to struggle as well. We're already done with it. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting. You know what? Based on that, I think this is right. I feel like this is right. Unfortunately, we didn't get to make the ultimate singularity together. Maybe next next time we'll be able to make it together but goddamn i should be able to take this now with the unobtainium throw it in the smeltery oh no not enough heat in this item so do we actually need to, wait a minute do we actually need to make hold on a second hold 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 yeah we actually need to make soul lava and soul lava is mixed with blazing blood and liquid soul which means i gotta trap a wither inside of here okay that's fine okay i need to take this back out i need to put this back into the, the tank my concern is that he's gonna be able to break through the smeltery and that's not going to be fun if the wither breaks through the smeltery can i not pump this back in there i guess you can't pump blazing blood back in there okay well that's kind of um that's kind of unfortunate oh can i not put this back in there oh it's not going in there because it's i'm smart yep okay get that blazing blood back in there uh summoning a wither in the base is probably not the best idea but you know what we're gonna go for it we need skulls which is fine because we can go ahead and turn back on our wither skelly spawner do i have any skulls in here or did i use them all oh no we still got plenty from the last time that we did this i am gonna make sure that i get this block ready and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna summon a wither inside of our our smeltery here yeah this is not gonna go poorly nope this is totally not gonna go poorly at all but you you and you you stay in here sir oh and there's no fuel in here uh okay so wait hold on we gotta break this down and put the lava back so that way he can take some damage that's exactly what i was worried about um that's exactly what i was worried about was him breaking the smeltery like that uh that's not really ideal can you not that'd be great all right let's fight this might be one of those cases where we're probably gonna have to whatchamacallit we're gonna have to use a creative tank i think here to get this to work because i don't really think i'm gonna be able to yeah oh he wasn't in there long enough how am i meant to do this there's got to be another way to get liquid soul right that isn't a wither soul glass can do it oh soul soil can do it if you would have said something can soul sand do it or do i need soul soil i might need soul soil if we can get away with doing soul sand that would make me one happy chap 
All right, looks like we're gonna get away with making it this way. Okay, that was a lot of soul soil. I need, hold on. I kind of made a mistake here. Do this and then pull out of the thing. Okay, that should leave not enough room still. All right, give me an ultimate tank. I don't know why that didn't mix with the blazing blood. There should be plenty enough room in there. Let's empty it a little bit and just hope that we're gonna have enough potentially, maybe. Okay, why isn't it mixing? I probably, if I had a guess, let me take one guess and it's because we need blazing blood to make it. Yep. Okay, so here's the plan then. Remove that, move that, take out another tank, just a basic tank. Okay, move the blazing blood to the bottom. So pull it out, take our creative tank. I didn't let any of the blazing blood get out of here. Pull that into there. That's not what I wanted. Oh no. Did I just void all my blazing blood? Yeah, that's fudged. Damn it. Now with the damn correct amount of blazing blood, I should hopefully be able to make the right amount of soul speed or not soul speed, sorry. The soul, whatever you call it. Cause now I can be like, hey, you dummy, come here. All right, now that we have blazing blood in there, I should be able to take this bucket, this bucket and this bucket, this bucket and dump those buckets into here like so. It should make a bucket of that, which we're gonna go ahead and pull out of the smelter if we can. I don't know if I can pull directly out of the smelter like so, I can. I should be able to pick this up empty this again and then say hey get infinite of that we love it break that down get the soul another one of those seared tanks one two three or one two get half of those buckets and then fill it with that now we can take our unobtainium once i clear all this junk out of here i'm a bit worried that we don't have enough to get a creative tank worth I think we do though. Let's find out. Go ahead and take that, do that, let that cook, get a seared tank. It doesn't really matter what tank I use. I want to say I should be able to click it onto here, but I'm not entirely sure. I probably shouldn't risk it because that is six creative essence right there in 100 million RF. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I think you put it in here and then boom, there is your unlimited unobtainium, which we can now take this an ultimate fluid tank like so and never have to worry about unobtainium ever again because all we have to do is just fill this tank up with unobtainium and now we can use this creative tank to get unlimited emc next episode with that being said thank you guys so much for watching today's episode if you did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor smash that like button smash that subscribe button ding dong that notification bell become a part of the hunter tribe as always guys thank you guys so much for watching i do apologize for that little incident with obs i will try to make sure it doesn't happen again but no promises as always guys i love you i'll leave you till next time bye bye Thank you.